A new year means new goals or resolutions for many. It can be tough to stick to them, though. So tonight, we want to try to make that a little bit easier. Joining me tonight is Denise Tyus, a licensed counselor and life coach based in Southfield. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having me. So this is prime time, first week of the new year, of a new month, and a lot of people are setting goals right now. Uh, what advice would you give to someone when it comes to actually sticking to that goal? Well, I would suggest to a person that they should use what I call a smart goal. Okay. Um, make sure that your goal is specific, mm -hmm. make sure that it's measurable, that it's attainable, it's uh, relevant to your life, and that it can be done in a timely manner. Okay. What are some of the mistakes we tend to make? A lot of times we make big goals. We say, I just, I want to lose a lot of weight. Not very specific. Not very specific. Why is that a bad goal? Uh, I think that's a bad goal. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad goal, but it can be an overwhelming goal. And right. I think when people become very overwhelmed, they kind of give up. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that a person makes certain that their goal is specific for their lifestyle. So if you don't have a gym membership and if you're in a financial situation where you cannot afford a gym membership, don't um, say that you're going to lose a weight in a certain amount of time. Okay. Make certain that that goal is measurable, that you can say, okay, over a certain period of time, I'm going to just walk an uh, hour a day. Sure. And it doesn't cost any money. Yeah, perfect. Is there a reason it's better to set goals where you have wins closer, you know, not waiting until a year goes by or until you've lost 50 pounds, something that you can have some small success soon. Yes, because that keeps you motivated. That keeps you excited about moving forward. And I believe if you envision what you want your life to look like after that goal is achieved, it gives you the empowerment and the energy to focus on attaining that goal. Yeah. So I think you need to set your mind to what my life is going to be like when I obtain this goal. Yeah. What does that look like? Envisioning. So, you know, we hear people talk about manifesting and is it just thinking about it really quick and moving on or do you need to sit down and focus, close your eyes? I think um, in order for that to actually happen, you need to really sit with yourself. And sometimes we don't want to sit with ourselves because it gets quiet and then we hear the noises in our head. But if you sit with yourself and you just envision what you want your life to be like after that goal is obtained, then you are more apt to work toward achieving that goal. And sitting with yourself just means getting quiet and just listening to that inner voice, your inner gut, and it'll tell you exactly what it is that you need to do to achieve and attain that goal. What would you say to someone who has a goal, or maybe deep down they know they have a goal, but it feels overwhelming? How do you start? How do you just get that push to get going? Um, well, once again, I just say, look at how the end is going to be for you. And then um, also consider getting an accountability partner, getting someone that can support you as you uh, work toward achieving that goal. Um, someone who actually has the same desire in their life, someone who has goals and dreams and visions for their life and that you can hold each other accountable. And then you're more likely to um, be successful because you don't feel like you're alone. And then also you need to show yourself grace. Um, we have 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. And if you find yourself kind of falling off and that you're not actually where you want to be at the time that you've set, it's okay to start all over again. Okay. And that's where showing yourself grace comes into place because um, we have another day. Every day that we wake up, we have another day to get it right. So I think it's very important that we show ourselves grace and surround yourself around like-minded people that can keep you motivated throughout the year. When do you know when to step it up? So let's say you're trying to make a better goal. You don't want to say, I want to lose this amount of pounds. I just want to go to the gym three times a week. You do that. Success. At what point do you step that up to a different goal? When is it safe to say, okay, I've got this one handled? Once you see that you've been successful and you feel uh, rejuvenated as a result of obtaining that goal, then you can kind of pump it up a little bit and say, um, I want to maybe start uh, eating healthier. Mm -hmm. And that's when you can implement uh, uh, dietary changes into your uh, lifestyle yeah. to go along with uh, the exercise. You mentioned accountability partners. Why do you think it's so helpful to talk to someone, to verbalize out loud what you want to do? Because when you hear it, then it becomes real. Mm -hmm. And then when you have someone that you know is going to hold you accountable, that's going to ask you, how are you doing with your goals today? How are, how is it coming? How many pounds have you lost? Or uh, what did you buy when you went to the grocery store today? Uh, it holds you accountable and it makes you think um, before you make certain decisions and choices. All right. Any other tips as everyone's making their resolutions or thinking about setting a goal for 2024? Is there something that stands out to you this time of year? This time of year, um, 
it's very important, I think, that we really show ourselves a lot of grace. We've been mm -hmm. through a lot these last couple of years. Yeah. And um, just remember that tomorrow is another day to get it right. And that um, you always, always have another chance. Yeah. Yes. All right. Denise, thanks so much for joining us today. This is Denise Tyus, licensed counselor and life coach based Thank in you. Southfield. Appreciate your time. Thank you.